Hey everybody, it's Kia. So today I am finally back with a new video. It has been quite the week. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's been so crazy. We've been trying to figure out how to keep the dogs in the yard. We did get our electric fence in. Um, so we're trying to figure out how to get that thing installed and we're just running all of our options. So between that, homeschool over the weekend, and trying to clean, the vacuum went out. Oh my gosh, it has just been a week. And then things have been really, really crazy at work. I am actually getting ready to go to Denver uh, for a long weekend next weekend. So we've just had a lot going on. And then I turned on the computer and if you guys didn't know, I do use a webcam to shoot my videos. Um, I do have a Rebel camera, but sadly I don't have a tripod that will hold it. Um, so I'm just trying to hold off on buying a tripod right now because we've had so many things come up. Um, but hopefully I can do that here pretty soon and then I can have better videos. But um, yeah, the tripod's not working. I went to pop the battery in to see if I could use it and that wasn't working for me. And for some reason, my computer would not load the webcam. And so it has just been a week for me. Oh my goodness. But I did get the computer to load this morning, thank goodness. So what I decided to do was I scrapped the budget that I was starting to do on 8-1. And I just combined the two budgets together because I get paid today. So what I wanted to do was go ahead and run through the budget and then hopefully if my computer will behave, I'll do my recap video for Jul um, for yeah July um, this weekend. So keep your fingers crossed that everything works for me. But let's go ahead and dive in. Um, because we do have two different paychecks on here, it is kind of a longer budget. Um, but you know, I think it'll work out pretty good. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, so I have y'all zoomed in now. Um, I have been working on closing out my July budget, so I do have my roll forward amount. Um, and then I do have both of our paychecks. My husband actually must have ended up with an extra day on there or maybe a little bit of overtime. Um, if you didn't already know, he does get paid by monthly. So I budget 1300 usually for his paychecks, but Sometimes he gets some extra days in there. So now that I have my Erin Condren planner, I'm going to go through and mark out his paydays. And then that way I can hopefully kind of look at the calendar and see what days are included on those paydays and really just kind of get my life <laughs> um, wrangled in. I really want to start just going through and trying to plan out time and everything because time seems to get away from me. But um, his paycheck was a little more than what I thought it was going to be, and since this video is after uh, we received his paycheck, I figured I'd go ahead and bump it up to be what his paycheck was. Um, my paycheck should be about the same. Um, I won't actually get it until this morning when I get into work. We don't have direct deposit, um, but I got a bonus, I don't know, a paycheck or two ago, so I shouldn't be getting any bonuses, so it should just be the 1850. Now our roll forward was pretty large and that's because I actually start saving for bills that come out during this pay, pay period um, on the last two pay periods that we had. So most of that roll forward is actually to cover some bills and then this payday of course I'll go ahead and start saving. I did take one of you guys' advice and I've gone through my YNAB as well as my little spreadsheet and I put the dates that all the bills are going to draft out of the account. And that's what I used to figure out which bills we're going to hit um, during this pay period versus what I'm saving for. So hopefully this budget will go a little better than usual. Um, the other thing that we've also done is we've decided to, with all the craziness, I could have technically paid for the fence in cash. We do have a $500 emergency fund, but the dog fence was $530. Um, and then, like I said, it was a crazy weekend. Our vacuum died. We were trying to get a vacuum from Walmart, but I'm really picky about the vacuums that we use because we do have four dogs with long hair. Um, 
So we had a little bit of an issue trying to get a vacuum and stuff and so that we could get the reward points, I went ahead and I put that onto the credit card that we've been trying to pay off. And so hopefully this payday and next payday, we'll get them fully paid off with just all of our money um, from our paychecks. And then I don't necessarily have to deplete my emergency fund just to have to restock it again. So that is what we're doing. Um, so because of that, I also figured I would sit down and really try to figure out what are the areas we're struggling in. And the areas that we're struggling in the most is little purchases on and off throughout the month um, that my husband charges for his Audible and before for picking up cigarettes and things like that. So we have actually changed our smoking habit around and we should not be buying cigarettes from the gas station. So that is going to be um, extremely helpful. That's going to save us quite a bit of money until we can finally sit down and quit smoking. Um, but at least, you know, that'll get us a little further along um, and we're not spending all that money out. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to open up a second checking account and I'm just going to give that one to my husband and transfer money over into that account for him and then hopefully sit down. I'm sorry, my computer's dinging. Let me see if I can turn off um, the email. Okay, so that should turn off. Um, so hopefully by designating so much money out to him, he doesn't necessarily keep track of how much he's spending, I don't think. Uh, and we're really trying to get it to where, you know, our budget I know has been unrealistic because our groceries are really, really low. We weren't budgeting anything for shopping. We do need some clothes, um, you know, things like that. And so I'm trying to go through and figure out what we need to set aside towards our debt in order to pay it off in a reasonable amount of time. We were really hoping to have it paid off by the end of next year, but we do have our collections that we have to deal with. And then two, I just know that our budget is unrealistic um, for our family size and everything. So I'm trying to figure out how much I need to put back for sinking funds. Um, because we have started to establish some of those, but I'm thinking maybe I just want to fund those. So this month we are going to still focus on trying to pay that Capital One account off because the interest-free period expires in October. So we are going to make a large payment on that, but um, I did kind of shift around the way the bills hit. So this pay period, we're going to have $500 for groceries. Um, I really do prefer having one pay period where we just have a lump sum amount because we like to stock up on groceries. Um, we do use a lot of the same things all the time. And so if I can have one larger paycheck for groceries, then <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm a little choked up now. Then we can go to Sam's Club, Walmart. And then after that, we can just deal with little pickups um, for milk and fresh, fresh food, things like that. Um, so what I did was instead of having a big snowball payment this payday, um, which is what I would normally have, I would have a couple hundred dollars or four or five hundred dollars or whatever to go towards a snowball. I've decided to put 500 towards groceries and then I think we will end up decreasing our overall snowball budget um, because we did make so much progress in the last couple months with paying stuff off. We're going to decrease it a little bit. Um, so that we can allocate some money over towards shopping. So shopping is my line item this month. Um, like I said, we shouldn't be doing a whole lot of uh, tobacco purchases, things like that. So the shopping is more to cover the household goods um, and just other little miscellaneous purchases. My middle, no, my younger daughter's birthday is this month. Um, so I wanted to make sure I had a little bit of money set aside for that. And then me and my older daughter are actually going to make a trip up to Denver to see my sister um, next weekend. So I wanted just a little bit of money set aside for that. So that's kind of what we've done with our budget for this month. We'll see how it goes. And then because my husband has been capped on how many hours he can work, and I'm getting a little nervous about what the fall is going to be like, we're going to continue paying off the Capital One, but then I think once we do get that fully paid off, I think we're going to start working on some savings and some sinking funds 
and then we'll kind of reassess our debt snowball at that point, um, and as well as finish um, funding our emergency fund. So that is my goal for this month. But this payday, I did want to fund groceries and shopping for the most part. We will have a little bit more money for groceries um, coming up on the next pay, pay period, but um, that should get us by at least for for this time period. Kids allowance, I'm still gonna put $20 towards kids allowance. I know that's not really a whole, whole lot, um, but I am really trying to get it in their head that you know they're not gonna earn allowance for their everyday cleanup. Just for cleaning up your own mess doesn't mean that you need to get allowance. So the allowance is for helping us around the house, and they did help out quite a bit over the weekend. And so I have paid them out their allowance that I had saved up last month. So we're gonna save back $20 more for this pay period and um, hopefully give them a little bit more money um, because I'm also trying to get them to pay for some of their own things so that they quit being so wasteful on other items. So I'm really just trying to make them understand uh, finances and understand the importance of keeping up um, with their own responsibilities. I mean, they're nine and 10 years old now, so it's not like I'm asking them to do a whole lot. They're required to do their own pickup, they're required to keep up the, their own bathroom, you know, things like that. Um, and then we do ask them to help feed the animals, help with the vacuuming, um, help with picking up trash and dishes and, you know, things like that. <clears throat> so I don't think we're being too unreasonable, but that is what the allowance is for. Um, we are also going to be paying out quite a bit for medical. This is part of the roll forward. I've actually been saving it back for a little bit. My husband should be paying more money towards his therapy bills um, because they've been doing the teletherapy. He doesn't actually talk to the billing office and so he needs to call and make a payment um, for, I think we're behind on two sessions now. Um, and then I think he's going to end up having another session, but I went ahead and I put the two sessions in there. I'm not sure if he's going to have the other session or not, but technically I have a little bit left over in the roll forward if, um, if he ends up paying for three. And then part of this $520 is actually for me. Every quarter I have been going into the doctor. Um, if you didn't know, I did have a hysterectomy about two years ago now, I think or maybe it's been a year. No, it's been two years. And so I have had just uh, some issues with hormones and you know things like that. So I have been going in for um, hormone therapy uh, quarterly. And so because we don't have insurance, that ends up being about 380 or $390. And so I did have money set aside for that. Uh, we are also going to be purchasing our pet supplies this payday. I am budgeting $85 because I think that we're going to need cat food before the next order ships. So I'm just going to go ahead and include it on this order. And then we're going to have our utilities. Um, normally I would have water, water, gas, and electric on this pay period. Um, but I've built up a credit with our water bill, thank goodness. And then our gas bill is pretty low, but this time of year we do have refrigerated air and so our electric bill is going to jump up. Um, I have not seen the bill come through and it's been so crazy I haven't looked it up, but I'm guesstimating that the electric bill alone is going to be about $250 or so. Um, so that's going to be a good chunk of that money. We are still only paying on one of my student loans. And then, like I said, I am going to start budgeting some money out to transfer into an account just for my husband. That way he can keep track of how much he's spending. I don't mind the audible purchases here and there or little things like that. Um, but he doesn't go places or do enough for me to pull cash out for him. So I think I'll just open up another checking account and then I can slide the money over into that. Uh, mortgage, we're going to have our mortgage payment this pay period. And then because we are um, going to go up to Denver, my vehicle and my husband's vehicle actually both need an oil change. So I know for sure we're going to get mine taken care of. Or maybe I'll take his. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but we'll take one of them in for sure. 
and um, if we can we'll take both of them in it's really just a timing thing because this is going to be my last weekend here before we go next weekend and um, there's actually an oil change place right next to where my husband works so I figured I'd budget $70 over for those um, oil changes if we can get them taken care of and then down at the bottom I am going to have some bill savings um, this is for credit cards and things like that that are going to come due after this pay period. This pay period should end on the 14th. Um, so I'm going to be holding back 1220 for those future bills. And then I have 465 left as a roll forward. Some of that is buffer money. Some of it is, um, what else is it? It's buffer money, some medical uh, things that I just have earmarked out inside of my YNAB. So 465 should be carried forward for later. And then here's our credit cards. And so since we did end up, I'm sorry, I've got like little specks on my paper here. Hopefully that's not bothering you guys on the camera. But um, because we did end up putting the fence and the vacuum on the credit card, I went ahead and allocated $880 to go towards this credit card this pay period. My goal is to have that credit card paid off by the end of the month. And technically, I would have had it paid off by the end of last month, but I did not get the payment submitted in time, I don't think, for it to hit the budget. Um, so I'll have to look at that. And then we did end up putting the fence and the vacuum on there. So I did want to make a big payment onto the card. I think we should be able to have it paid off next pay period. And then, like I said, we'll start establishing more sinking funds. Um, we're also going to have the Credit One Visa, JCPenney, State Farm, Wayfair, Best Buy, the Amazon Store card, the City card, and then of course after I was going through the list I noticed that I skipped over my Capital One card. Um, so these are all just minimum payments that I normally budget for and so that's going to be $14.30. So hopefully this kind of explains where we're thinking and where we're going forward. Um, I can't wait to actually be able to sit down this weekend and really kind of think things out. I want to see when we're going to have that card paid off um, because I want to say we are really, really close. And I do have like another 125 back in that sinking fund savings account um, that I've been transferring money into. And then because it's the end of the tracking week for me, I will actually be going through and figuring out which bills have already come through so that I can transfer some more money into that sinking fund account. So I think we're gonna be really, really close to getting that one paid off, um, but I do think it's gonna happen next pay period and not necessarily this pay period. So thank you guys so much for sticking around with me. I am gonna go ahead and zoom up really quick. Um, this was the budget and I'm so sorry for the delay in posting the video. Um, but I'm glad I finally got it all, all down on paper. I've been trying to figure it out in YNAB. And, um, and I'm just glad that the computer finally worked. And thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh, I am so thrilled by all the new subscribers. I cannot believe we are over 100 subscribers now. Um, that just makes me so happy. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and all the likes and comments. Uh, I'm sorry, that is the animals. <laughs> oh my gosh, Peanut's big butt probably just not something over. Um, I'm so sorry about that. I don't think I can edit it out. But um, I really am super, super thrilled. I have some big plans going forward this week and next week. Like I said, it's going to be a little crazy and hopefully the computer will work for me. I don't know what I need to do for it. Um, or I need to buy a tripod and a new battery for my other camera and then we can use it. But that's kind of where I'm at. And I did try to shoot the video on my camera, but I have been just so go, 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 go and staying up too late and waking up too early. So I live on coffee and I just could not stay steady enough <laughs> for the phone camera. So thank you guys again so much for watching the video. I cannot wait to see you guys next time. If you like the video or you have any suggestions on establishing more sinking funds and you know things like that or how you deal with spending money, especially when you don't go places enough to use cash, um, 
that is partly why we don't do a cash budget is because I do grocery pickup and I can't pay cash with grocery pickup. And um, with everything shut down, it makes it kind of uh, useless, I guess, for us to pull cash out for other spending items because I don't want to go in anywhere and um, there's just nothing to do in our area that we can take the kids out that would use cash. Like, I mean, we can go hiking and things like that, but we've had a lot to do around the house, so um, we haven't done anything like that yet. So I'm trying to figure out how to keep track of it while using the different checking accounts and savings accounts um, and trying to avoid the cash envelope method only because, like I said, we just, we don't have enough reasons to try to do the cash envelope method. We've tried and we just, it doesn't work for us because of the way we grocery shop and things like that. So um, I'm really trying to figure that out. But next goal is sinking funds and paying that credit card off and hopefully getting up our emergency fund to a full thousand dollars. And then that way I don't feel so bad when the vacuum breaks and we have to pull a couple hundred dollars out. It's not depleting the entire fund. Um, so, yep, that's kind of where we're at. But thank you guys so much. I look forward to your comments and suggestions. And we will see you again soon. Bye, you guys.